Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz, and this is uh, going to be a stock motion experience, but even... And I know you're thinking, well, why is it going to be a stock motion experience when you've already fully upgraded it? And that's because I remember someone asked me to do one. So I've I've mounted all of the stock, all of the stock equipment. Um, you know, this, this is the stock gun, the stock engines, the stock tracks. Honestly, it doesn't feel that much different. It's ever so slightly slower, and the gun I think is slower to reload. But in in all intents and purposes, this is basically a slightly slower, fully upgraded Maotian. Um The gun doesn't quite have as much pen. It has the same average damage, I think. And this is going to be a, a stock Maotian experience slash how to play the mouse slash Maotian. And I'm just going to put a shot right into that guy. So, how do you play the Maotian? Well, the same as you play the mouse. You just sort of do this and hope for the best. I'm just going to sit here wait for someone like that King Tiger to get spotted, do 500 damage, and just angle myself. You, This is, for all intents and purposes, a mouse just at a slightly lower tier. And, I mean, I can't pen that guy. I probably wouldn't be able to pen him anyway with the upgraded gun. Ah, oh, too slow to hit him. And then you just angle yourself like this. You want to... The same with the mouse is that you want to keep your turret angled the same as your hull so that you can bounce the shots like this and then you only turn your turret to take snapshots I'm not sure about the gun handling on this upgraded on this uh, stock gun rather so I don't quote me on that I don't know whether this is as good at taking snapshots as the upgraded gun however we can do something like that and do, f <laughs> do decent damage and uh, yeah this is this is just how you play the motion you just sort of drive it like a mouse. I understand if you're driving the mouse in stock, you probably haven't got the mouse yet. But this is what you do in it. You just sort of keep your gun pointing the same as your hull and you side scrape. And it works wonders in the mouse. It works wonders in the VK. It works wonders in the mouse as well. It's just that the gun doesn't quite have as much pen or quite as much DPM. However, you can still smack waffles for like 800 damage with HE. So I think I, I might try and do that. Or we'll just come down here and do that instead. Ram! Ram! Yes! We got a ram kill on the waffle and some ram damage on the T-34. And now we can just pop a, pop a shot right into the side of his hull. Or right into the side of his turret, rather. There's the STA-1. He's the last one left. No, he isn't. There's another one. There's a Leo Prote. But still, you've got 2400 damage, uh, 2400 HP in this tank now with the uh, improved HP. In the uh, improved HP of the new update. I think 6.10 is the new update. There's that Leo Prote. I'll wait for him to be spotted. Put a boat of HE into him. That one unfortunately didn't pen, it sort of. I don't know what it did, it, it not did rather, I think it just sort of impacted on top of his engine deck and we just sort of and we just sort of injured his loader with the splash damage <laughs> through his turret um, yeah, there you go, stock stock motion experience it's, uh, it's, it's just a mouse <laughs> and this is kind of like a how to drive the mouse slash the mouse in here there you go, two, two things did, we just caused 1200 HP of damage and we caused eight and we got 800 XP in a single battle. And uh, I've been noted as a lucky player. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but yeah, there you go. 2300 damage in a stock motion. I mean, what more is there to it? It's now a tier 10 game, which is a bit of a problem because I don't quite have the same pen as a mouse. When you fully upgraded the Maotian, you are just a mouse as a lower tier. Because you've got pretty much the exact same gun. With the upgraded gun being a 128. Um, the, exact, the exact same gun as the mouse, which is a 128 with 246mm of pen. And the same 460 alpha, and the same decent gun handling as well. This thing is just a... Uh, 
not as much pen and a, and a small, I think it's a shorter barrel as well. But here we go, we're just going to drive the motion. It's a fun tank, definitely. You can bounce all the shots that you want off of it. And uh, you saw in the last game that Rheimatol Borsig was just using me as cover. And that's the good thing, you can be used as cover. You are just a, a ever so slightly mobile fortress. And so you can do that sort of stuff. Of course it doesn't help when Sheridans fire rockets at you. So, there doesn't appear to be anyone here. Interesting. Oh, lag. You spotted. Yeah, there's the K91. Oh, lag. E100. Now, can we get through the side armour of the E100? We can. But we can't get through his frontal turret even with APCR. Which is a bit of a problem. Doesn't help when my HE just impacts the rock because of rock hitbox. 110E5, what we're going to do, we're going to do the patented side scrape. Around here, can we see him? No, we can't. Keep the turret angled with the hull. There he is. Go for his lower glacis. We only blow off his track, but we got some assist damage at least. Hello, friend. Please do shoot at me ineffectually. Thank you very much. I'll take that one singular bounce from you. K91, not really. Oh, hello. Doesn't help when the shot impacts the track. Doesn't do anything. Hello, friend. Yes. Thank you for bouncing heat off of my frontal armour. So as you can see, we can take off heat very easily. Nice and easily. There's that 125 with the damaged ammo. What are you doing, friend? Bounce. That was heat, and that was into my ammo. Uh, that was into my tank. Yeah, the problem with not quite having as much pen as the upgraded one means that we can't easily get through it. Nor do we have the gun depression to, really. A bit of a problem. F7, F7, F7. Help, help, help. Come on, bounce heat. No, he didn't. Hello, WZ. No, oh, get away. Alright. Screw you two. I'm just going to go over here. Ow. Alright, I'll just shoot the tier 10 heavy then. Might as well. He's dead. Run away. Hey, you bounced. Go for the 100. Because we can pen him now. Boop. I'm just going to ignore that medium tank behind me and hope that someone deals with him. Or that he gets a low roll and doesn't kill me. Because <laughs> that, that's the thing with the Maotian. It's just got so much health that you can just ignore your problems and hope they go away like that. And now he's being dealt with by the rest of my team. So Now the problem is, is that there's a K91 and a T54 and a missile shooting T92E1 and we've got a very slow traverse. There's that guy. Finish him off. Okay, good. Now we've got the light tank coming to get us, so let's angle up, just in case he doesn't shoot a missile at me. Oh, hello, K91. Let me just uh, deal with you, thanks very much. Yep. A Krupstahl deflects your missile. Your American Freedom missile. Oh no, the WZ has killed off the Sheridan. That's not good. Let's see if we can't... Hit him with HE. Oh, we, we can, but we didn't do anything. Come on, friend. Hit a missile against me, I dare you. <laughs> well, he did, but the, the, tier, the tier 9 medium managed to kill me first, and I think that's actually better. Come on, Yarg. Yes, Yarg Tiger. And now it's an ST1 versus him. Come on, ST1. Nice. And honestly, yeah, your missile does nothing. Screw you. Now his track's been blown off. <laughs> uh, I hate people who just use missiles. But still, we did get our two kills in the stock mansion. 
so at least there is that. We did lose credits because we didn't actually do that much. But uh, we did deflect a couple of shots. So we've got that going for us. And uh, even stock is not too bad, honestly. I mean, yes, it is a bit lacklustre in terms of mobility and penetration, but honestly, you get... You only have 20 mil less pen, it's not like it's a massive difference. You can still do things with this gun. And the mobility, it's not like it's particularly immobile. And I mean, you saw that first game. We took, what, any damage? I think we might have taken a little bit of ramming damage when we rammed those two guys, when we rammed that Rymatol and uh, T-34. But otherwise, it's just a big old solid immobile tier 9 heavy. And if you just keep on side-scraping and avoid showing them your uh, cupola and your front turret cheeks, because like the mouse, the turret cheeks flat on are the big problem, because uh, the rest of it's rounded, so the the um, armor increases as it as it goes. But hello, friend. Yeah, we were spotted. I was going to say if we weren't spotted from that. We're going to blow off his track, we're going to angle, bang, there you go. There's the VK, we're going to bounce him as well. Yep, there you go. Hit our track, but... Oh, we can't get through his cheeks. But our trucks are back up. Going to keep on going. Put a shot right into the E75, bounce his shot, we took the shot from that guy. But the thing you've got to remember as well... is that you've got the lower glacis weak spot, the same as that VK. But if you can bounce his shot like that... See, his weak spot is there. That's the same as you. You've got that, that weak spot in between your tracks. And if you can hit that weak spot, if someone hits it, they'll do damage. Like that. Except I didn't hit... So I'm going to get into cover as fast as my drive will allow me. I'm going to drive in front of the lurver so that we can... Or not, he'll just... He'll just do that. Bang! There you go. So if you can hit, if you can hit, you know that weak spot, you'll do good damage, like the same as that VK. People always complain about them being unkillable from the front, but honestly, they're they're not as unkillable as people think. Problem is, I don't have the pen to deal with him, so I take a shot from that VK anyway. So I'm going to back up to I think this house, bounce the shot from the that guy. Bounce another shot from that guy. Take a shot from the VK. Take a shot from the Scorpion. Hit him with HE for 600. And now we're going to angle up because hopefully that VK shouldn't be able to do damage. Ah, oh, but there's a T28 Prot on my side. Fantastic. Aprala. So let's angle against the T28. There you go. He's now reloading, I think. Bounce a shot from someone else. Bounce a shot from the pro. Bounce another shot from someone. This thing's just got armor upon armor. It, it really has. If you play it smart, by not bouncing off the front of a T28 pro, we can bounce whatever medium is trying to snipe us. Bounce. Hmm. In a sticky situation, and I don't. Th I think even my skills in the mountain aren't going to save us from this. Bluff his track. Bounce his shot. Honestly, I'm not going to repair my track because credits. I'm going to lose credits this game anyway. Let's try and get at least one good shot in. There you go. Let's head forwards, Jukeson. Bounce the BK. VK didn't even get a shot into us. We killed off the. We got killed by the scorpion. But even so, you saw the amount of bounces we took there. And we're still two and a half thousand damage. I only just made credits, obviously. But still, even so, I'm going to rate that guy up. Why the hell not? But even so, we were top of the team. And if we have a look at it, eleven shots fired, nine hits, seven pens. Yeah, that's fair enough. But look at that. We bounced nine shots. And we supposedly took 16 penetrations, which is still a lot to, tr to kill at this tier. Um, but even so, I reckon a couple of those were just blowing off our track. And you saw the amount of bounces we managed to get, even so. Um, so, 
you know, it's honestly a pretty decent grindy tank if you were to have to grind us out. I mean, it's not perfect in terms of in terms of everything. I mean, if we have a look at the stats here, just to round it off, the stats don't change. There is no upgraded turret, so the armor doesn't actually change. There's no reason to have an upgraded turret that does better. I mean, the dispersion is still 0.38, which is still not too bad for a stock gun. Mobility, it's on 18 average speed, clubs per hour, 13 degrees of hull traverse. Even when you upgrade it all, <laughs> the hull traverse only goes up to 21. So it doesn't quite double. You get a bit extra. It's not too much extra, though. It still weighs 169 tons. Um, and the average speed is 22. And then we put on the upgraded gun. And the upgraded gun has got slightly better dispersion. It's got exactly the same aiming time. It has got slightly better DPM and slightly better armor piercing. Honestly, the top gun is not much different apart from slightly slightly faster to reload, slightly better DPM, the ever so slight better DPM, better av better average pen and better gun handling. But other than that, it's the same old mansion. Power to weight goes up to 9.1, but it's still massively slow. And uh, yeah, if you want to know the equipment I've gone with, exactly as you'd expect equipment. That for the gun handling, that for the aim time, that for the reload time, that for the coated optics because you don't need that, that for the hull traverse, that for the armour. It's pretty much all just go down the one line on each of them. And so yeah, that is the stock motion experience. Um, let's just adjust my ammo to load to whatever it used to be. I'm not sure what it used to be. I'm going to guess that. But yes, so there you go, the stock motion experience. I'll thank you all for watching and goodbye.